Hello friends, this is Abhijit Paul. In this video, we are going to learn about event management, incident management and problem management. These three processes are the part of service operation phase and service operation phase is the fourth phase of ITIL. So let's see what exactly these three processes are. First we will see the event management. So for understanding event management, first we have to understand what exactly an event is. Any change in the state of configuration item is called as an event. Some examples. In an operating system, the events can be as below. Logging into a system. When a user logs in into a system, logs out of a system, that can be called as an event. Creating, modifying or deleting a folder. These activities are also called as an event. Changing username and password also can be called as an event. How to do the event management? For this, either we can use active monitoring tools or passive monitoring tools. So the organizations are using different monitoring tools for handling the event management. Maybe if you have used some cloud services, then you should have seen there are different monitoring tools which are available with the cloud service providers. Next is the incident management. To understand incident management, first we will see what is an incident. An event which disturbs or create obstacle for the IT services is called as an incident. So any event which is occurring but due to that particular event, if your regular services are getting disturbed or they are creating some obstacle in providing the services, then that particular event can be called as an incident. We will see some examples related with the operating system. The first is login password not accepted by a system. So basically the password should be accepted but it is not accepting. So now that can be called as an incident. Internet not operating after changing IP address. So after changing IP address, the internet should work, but it is not operating. So that can be an incident. System restarts after running an application. So that will be an incident. How to do the incident management? There is something called as a workaround, which is done by the organizations or the service industry. Workaround is nothing but it is a temporary solution given for that particular incident. So remember this term work around. Next is problem management. Problem management, what is exactly a problem management or what is a problem? A repetitive incident is called a problem. So whenever incident is continuously repeating or it is continuously getting repeated, then that particular incident can be called as a problem. For example, every time the system is restarted, the date of that particular system changes. So this is a repetitive incident which is happening and that's why we can call it as a problem. System restarts after running an application. Whenever I run an application, the system will restart and it is happening continuously or repetitively, then it is a problem. How to do problem management? For this, the organization or the service provider uses something called as a known error. That means they do the analysis of the incidents which are happening or the incident, uh, repetitive incidents and they find out the root cause of that particular incident and then the solution is given for that particular root cause and the problem gets solved. That is called as a known error or the root cause of that particular incident. And these particular known errors are stored inside a database which is called as a known error database. So this is all about the event management, incident management and problem management. Thank you very much. Do watch other videos and like and subscribe the videos. Thank you very much.